first let's talk about breath and breathing. The average person reaches peak respiratory function and lung capacity in their mid-twenties. It looks something like this. Then if we just breathe the way most of us breathe, shallow chest breathing, well, we begin to lose between 9 and 25 percent of our lung capacity every decade after that. 9 to 25 percent. So, if our lungs start out looking like this, well, by the time we're 50, they look like this. Scary, huh? Breathing is responsible for getting rid of 70% of the toxins that enter our body. And not only toxins from the air we breathe, but also those we ingest or absorb in other ways. Our other systems, sweating and elimination, get rid of the other 30% that our breathing doesn't handle. So when we're 20, toxins enter our body. And we have this much lung capacity to get rid of 70% of those toxins, right? Mm -hmm. But when we hit 50, well, the same amount of toxins enter our body, or maybe more. But now we only have this much lung capacity working for us. Where do you suppose those other toxins go? Research shows that they sit in your cells. Not good. But the good news is that we can expand our lung capacity again by learning how to breathe properly. Studies show that deep belly breathing lowers blood pressure, counteracts, counteracts the chemicals released in stress, cleanses your lymphatic system, and deep breathing has been shown to help manage things like diabetes, eating disorders, and obesity. So health-wise, breathing is critical. Now, deep breathing is also critical to our mental and emotional health, as well as rewiring the neural pathways in our brain.